Welcome in one and all to the first map between Fours and Spirit Academy. We are here on Nuke, an undefeated map for Spirit Academy right now. We'll see whether Fours can change that narrative. They start off on the CT side and I'm joined, of course, once again by Neo Guy. Of course, going to be got to be back on the way. He said this game is pretty interesting. He's just got itself a kind of a, a built-in storyline. The experience of Zorte, though, taking down the youngsters. Spirit Academy down to three in a matter of mere moments. That's the bomb dropped as well. Really not a great start coming in for Spirit Academy. They will have to try and recover this round back. They've got Donk outside. Might be able to get the drop. There is sort of weird outside smoke coming in to give him some space to work with. And they really aren't all fully expecting him. Jerry was on him with the Julies, but a nice clean kill comes in for Donk. Has to find some more though. Molotov towards the back vent. Going to force Zorty into the fight, but this guy is not missing right now. He's got some support in as well. So just going to be down to Sotfit. Can't find anything. And an incredibly clean pistol to open us up. Not bad, not bad at all. Spirit Academy, I think they're coming towards that one. Get a little bit overwhelmed in terms of the initial aggression taken by Forza. And they just don't really know what to do. So once they go down to three members in a matter of moments to, to Zorta and how quick he was in taking that single door fight, it kind of falls apart, right? Then Spirit Academy, they've got to be calling on the mid rounds. How do they fix the situation? And unfortunately, they kind of just couldn't. One little start, Fours. Plenty of money for them to work with. And with all the Spirit Academy, cash is, of course, low. So they are going to opt for a little bit of a low buy. Just Glocks coming out. No investment apart from donking towards a Deagle. He did find that frag, so decides to stick with it. Try and, uh, you know, take a name if he can. They are going to go for the early rifle buy. So, uh, you know, want to put that pressure on Fours early with a frag if they can find it. But not expecting too much. This is really going to be a... Uh, Battle of wits in this one. Fours know that there's a formidable opponent on this map. They're obviously confident in their own map pick of Inferno coming up next. Ooh. If they could take this or at the very least keep it competitive, then I think they will be very, very happy indeed. But we'll see. Spirit Academy, a really good opportunity for them to get some great experience against a top-level team right now. Yeah, and that has been the story recently. All Spirit Academy, I mean, they're just getting a wealth of uh, experience against some elite teams of in tier two. But this is a good, you know, like you said, it's a very good test, right? To see where they actually stand, see how they're looking in terms of the kind of the more grandiose scope of what is the kind of the tier two circuit. And of course, where they stand against some of the better performers in said tier two circuit. I mean, Boars are essentially kind of gatekeepers of the upper echelon or kind of lower echelon or tier one, wherever you want to judge them as. So I'm interested in my eyes to see kind of how they pan out later down the line. Spirit Academy, when we really call upon this young team to start finding some success, like the rifle rounds, let's see how they pan out. Okay, he's in display. What do you to already use? The only problem is for a Spirit Academy, they don't have a lot left in the back pockets. Yeah, going to have to make this early utility sing. And Zorte's already on the orb. Going to find the first name in this round. We are moving pretty fast throughout this nuke so far. Decent nade on the way. It's just a little short, unfortunately. They will gain that outside control that they were after on the spirit side of things. But another one drops. Down to just three very quickly indeed. Not even a minute gone. Not exactly, I guess, the dream star right now. But still more to be done. MP9, that close. Baz will drop him out. Jerry only goes one for one. Sontix and Baz don't need something miraculous. We kind of said Sontix as well with someone who a lot of people are keeping an eye on. That was a good opportunity even to prove himself. A lot of space on A. Has kind of been given across, but Resalt goes in for a peek and uh, he will catch Sontix off guard. Good sense of timing there from the defender. So just the big man Baz down below. They know exactly where he is. And uh, he does have the bomb. That's about all he's got going for him at the moment. Resalt is ready in the vent if he tries to go towards that A side of things. But it looks like, you know, B would be uh, probably the only choice. Not just the wisest choice, but his only real option. Is he actually just going to save this AK? It looks like he might do. So third round for fours. And so far, it's been a very easy run in the early rounds. Yeah, I haven't actually been tested all that much, which in itself is ever so slightly concerning. We're needing a lot more out of this roster but still like you said it's early doors there's a lot more for this team to be given to us. so i'm gonna give up on them just yet you know start and of course it's the ct side of nuke nuke is notoriously very difficult on that ct on that t side to kind of get momentum going and start feeling comfortable so let's see 
back into a uh, pretty minimal buy for Spirit Academy. It is just going to be the low upgrades of, yeah, just a few pistols to support that AK-47, making sure their money to work them in towards the next. We need to see Art Frost in towards the AWP, and that's why he hasn't brought himself up in towards all that much. There's a double flash to work with. About all they've got going at this point. Oh. There you go. First spot comes in. Zorte being nice and dynamic with the AWP. He's inside this time around and able to open up once again. So... Pretty scary prospect. This guy's 9-0 and right now. He is uh, absolutely flying. Make it 10. Goodness gracious. AK, hero of the round. Not able to find anything as Crad takes him down. There is uh, support here from Jerry as well. Easily able to mow through them. This is looking very worrying in the early days. Spirit Academy uh, yet to find any kind of competition. Yet to really make Fours sweat at all. They'll be in with another buy. And this is... I think, again, it has to be, at the very least, close, right? And maybe not taking the round, but you have to start to show us something. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you can even make the argument that we are starting to get to the point of they have to take rounds, right? I mean, this is a, a pretty notorious lead being built up so far for it's zero. Spirit Academy aren't really able to test the waters all that much. We're seeing them lose man advantages very early into these rounds. And that's always going to be such a problem. So... Already, Jerry. Half his way up close and personal. Needs to be careful. Caught by the flashbang. Like it's fucking his head. Full blind. One that's cross. And a fire through the smoke. It's been an absolute collapse over towards the A side. Even Art Frost all alone. Jesus. What is going on? This is crazy. Art Frost going to go down as well. That round's over in about 30 seconds. Spirit trying to go for something fast. And it just absolutely, like you say, I think collapse is a great word for it. They just had absolutely no... Uh, foundations to the attack at all. Starting to write itself so far, and Fours being that formidable opponent, being that very scary team, are showing exactly why they are not missing a beat right now. No, they're looking so comfortable. A level of counter strike they're playing, very easy. Not even all too methodical, let's be honest. Just mechanically outdoing Spirit Academy right now. Concerning times, the youngsters are forced into just the scout, yet to frag for him. Same for Zontix and Softix. Most they've got is Baz on two. Shalfi up close. Flash will catch him. He's happy to tuck his head here. Hold and wait. And he just trying to line him up. Dong. That's quick. Yeah, that is mega fast, really. Just completely catching him. Uh, not reacting fast enough. And there's the big man, Donk, who we talked an awful lot about. He has been the, the highest fragger for this team by quite some margin. Crazy numbers that this guy puts up. So you got to watch him. See what he can do now that he's recovered an AK. Well, all goes a little bit quiet off the back of it. Crad doubled down. It's got to support them in towards the position, but then nothing really came of it. All going a little bit quiet. They rotated back up towards the top site. And it's Resalt, the new boy over towards Fours, who is going to be tested. Yeah, they're on the way. He's got some support from Heaven. Gonna move around slowly, spots him going down the vent, and it's a double spray down that comes in for him and Crad. Nice find onto Zontix as well. Art Frost can't get anything done, so just the one quick kill onto Shalfi, and again, Four's able to recover back pretty well, and that is another test for them, right? It might only be a small one, but for the first time in a little while, they were put under some pressure. They lost an early man. They were up against the pistols that can be hard to predict, and uh, they still come out on top. Yeah, exactly, right? We can, we can take silver linings here, there, and everywhere. The grand scheme is that this is already starting to look a little bit concerning. We're seeing a lot of money being built up over towards fours. I mean, Zorts has got an AWP and a full buy, and he's still sitting on 12.5k left in the back pockets. That itself is is damning. It means that the opportunity and the likelihood of breaking the economy of fours is so low. We're going to have to see the Spirit Academy side on a triumphant run on the seaside multiple rounds in a row consistency and consecutive rounds but on the board which so far is a big ask but donk will kickstart things well first time in a rifle round that they've come away with an advantage there is a crunch towards lobby coming through here fours again kind of pushing themselves testing themselves they do call it off though not spotting anything. Zontix, meanwhile, going to go walking out ahead of the smoke. We saw, got to be careful. Zontix is looking to get cheeky through it, and he might be able to get the catch here. Looks like he will. Sotfik found a frag in all the carnage as well, so looking very, very good indeed. And I think they might just take what they have into the next round here. Spirit Academy have got that A control. Really going to be hard to break back into this round. 
And yeah, that's it. I'm going to call it. Fours, the remaining two, just going to save Jerry and Zorta. This is 11 and 0 right now. This guy has had an absolute field day. But fortunately, this is not his round. So Spirit Academy, finally, find that first run on the board. And now it's all about, can they continue this run? Can they find cons or consistency, consecutive? Can they make this a catalyst to further success? That's the big questions they're asking. It's all well and good having these kind of flash-in-the-pan moments. We need to see a lot more out of them. But I'm going to go off only the one casualty. Not all that bad. Just on ticks to four, who is... You know, still yet to uh, really show what he can bring to the table. Same so, as for Frost, young Orpa, actually yet to prove what he's uh, what he's all about. He is a very talented Orpa when he gets going. He just kind of needs to right now, well, get going. Simply put, Zort is making his life a living hell. Five rounds the gap, and of course, no problems reinvesting back in. Like we said, plenty of cash for fours to work with. Shalfi. Oh, looking to be the first port call. Not going to happen. It's actually Art Frost to finally get on the board and take down Zorte. His first death for the game. The uh, opposition Orpa. Spirit Academy trying to bounce back and keep the consistency rolling. Like you say, that catalyst round. They absolutely need to make it work. And another kill comes in. Looking for the early picks here. And it just keeps on working. Nearly another one coming in. Restart left on 2 HP. Essentially a frag. It will keep on rolling. Prad up in the rafters. Good for one. Ooh, and another. But he runs out of ammo and will be traded. There's just not enough bodies around to help him out, of course. And it should quite easily be a second round for Spirit. I think so. Bomb goes down. And result so low on HP. Nothing to do with it once again. I mean, realistically, what can he do here? He's got two points of HP in his three kills. Finally seeing the likes of uh, kind of Zontix, Art Frost, well, and Donk, all shots come alive. These are the three big hitters on paper over towards Spirit Academy. All three of these guys staying alive, starting to find form, starting to get confident. This is exactly what you want to be seeing. They can find form and start to really run away with things in terms of what their individual ability is all about. And this game gets extremely exciting. But for now, not going to... Uh, Get too far ahead of ourselves. Flash will come through. We saw just trying to stay alive. It was definitely easier said than done. It actually fostered a bomb anyway. So, all that for nothing. No one saving. And for fours, once again, another reinvestment back in. But now the funds are starting to get a little bit on the thinner side. They can still have a couple more buys left in them. This is what we were saying. If consistency comes out, if Spirit Gunny start putting, you know, chaining rounds together... Then, this game does get interesting because Forza, at some point, will be limited in terms of what investments they can bring in towards each round. Quite a scary prospect. So we'll see how the recovery looks. Fours have still got a lot of rounds to play with. Still in a really good spot, of course, if they can get a return round here. Two rounds, you know, is, is still nothing to work with on that T side of things. It looks good in isolation from uh, Spirit, but they need... A hell of a lot more before we start to really believe in the project. So this is a big, big round for us. Had their confidence knocked, but you would assume they would now change things up and try and bring in a fresh game to deal with Spirit Academy. Well, let's take a look. Molotov will come through. Shalfie holding in towards bottom secret. He takes a very aggro peek. I like the idea. Trying to get information. Great timing on the smoke from Jerry as well. And he'll get just in front of the util. This is huge. One will fall that a resalt. But Jerry, just being a nuisance, ships in the night. They walk past him. My God, he's in behind. Easiest kill of his life. Trapped in hut at the moment as well. They can't really get out. Jerry looking to play so aggressive here. Just goes swinging around. Picks up Baz. Gets the man advantage. A great reposition. They have retraced the footsteps though. And Jerry might not oh, expect this. He just gets spotted. Shot rings off. He doesn't really have the support though. They're so... Panicked, down he will go. Flash comes in. Is it going to give enough control across to the rest of the squad? Yes, it will. Shalfi finds two, leaving it all on Donk. One versus two for him. 20 seconds, picks up the bomb, flying down towards B. So at the very least, should be able to get this bomb plant in and indeed put the pressure on the one versus two. But Crab is following him pretty quickly. He's not had a chance to close single door either. So that's not good. Ooh. But Donk is ready for the fights and he will win them. Oh my goodness, there he is. 
the disaster on the side of fours allows for the ace to come through for donk and this is why there's rumors about this youngster going towards the main team that's what he can bring to the table he is just ace clutched against fours that says it all he's ready and at such a young age as well my god what a bright future he's got ahead of himself that is monstrous from Dom. Spirit Academy, they are rocking and rolling right now. Fours, it looked like they were going to run away with Nuke. Now oh, we're starting to see things looking very, very good indeed. Jay, he's our great play. He's actually getting a lot of information. He's towards our side as well. I'm not too sure Donk knows about it. Yeah, we'll see here. We go barreling in with the utility nade on towards Donk. He might actually just die through smoke, to be fair. He does check the angle, but smoke's kind of... Oh, in the way, Jerry! Too many targets! That timing is so, so unfortunate. And now Spirit Academy have once again got the run of the mill as they have found that first frag. All goes... Quiet off the back of the opener, going the way of Spirit Academy. Nothing really needs to be given up in terms of information right now. Spirit essentially just needs to play the trade game, right? Play the numbers game. Use their man advantage. Even the low HP over towards Donk. Just use them as a cannon fodder. Insta traded. That's all you're looking at. Oh, what a shot. Crab goes down. The orb can't find anything either. Still survives. And still come away with a frag, but what can they really get done off the back of it? It's a three versus two. Donk outside on two HP. He's been somewhat watched for. He's going to find some control towards the A side of things. Shalfi had dropped down to pick up the pieces on B, but unfortunately it is the incorrect guess. So with the bomb going down and so far away from the action, you don't really ooh, fancy the chances, but Zorty picks off Art Frost. Remaining two players are very low indeed. Ready for a vent move. Shalfi's still going to try and go for it here. Donk going to have to get the better of him. Shalfi spots him. Trying to spam away. Wasn't sure whether he was seen. And I don't think he was, you know. He definitely had a chance there to find that frag. But played it a bit too passive. And that will indeed spell the end of the round. Spirit Academy four in a row for them now. No, he's spot on. He wasn't seen. Because I, I'm 99% I'm sure that was just the 4 by 3 moment. He's come up the vent. He's thinking, okay, he spotted me, but no, he probably actually hasn't just by his res alone. It's one of those fine margins, the high pressure. Doesn't exactly go the way you'd hope. Made it all up. As if Button maybe is starting to look pretty damn good for Spirit Academy. They're starting to chain a lot of rounds together now on this T side, which in itself is pretty damn scary. Forces to make sure they don't let this one slip away from them. Like I normally say, go with a number of six over towards the T side of Nuke and the Spirit Academy. If they get there, I'm starting to get very worried for fours. Inferno, like we mentioned, is a map in which Spirit Academy are also happy to play. You can see, technically speaking, upset on the cards. Oh, you took coming through once again. Nice full buy both ways. If this one falls flat, though, for fours, so a couple of those players over towards that CT side are going to struggle to invest in. And it's not a good start. Jerry to fall early. Spirit Academy completely unfazed by the early rounds, still taking uh, a lot of aggressive fights and now starting to win them is the difference, of course. Donk with the angle, but Zorty's got him. This guy is so fast right now, just needs a tiny bit of support to work with. And they should be dominating the rounds once again. Four on four, ramp. Control from the CT side comes in and a find on the edge of the smoke from Resalt. Spamming the smoke or something. Or oh, training on the angle as well. Zorta will get smoked off. He's got a gap to work with. And a missed shot might just cause him to wait for help, wait for support. That support being shelf. He's going to get Molotov off immediately. So already things are starting to go south. One will go down. Pretty much unscathed. It's all down to Crad now, right? He's got a gap to work with. And he could, in fact, use timing on his favor to make a double work. Oh, Frost and Bars line up. At least something all alone. Unsuccessful. Oh, he yeah, he falls, and it will be that seventh round coming in for fours. Still a decent run from Spirit Academy. If they can keep it on, keep the pressure coming, we could be in for a decent half from them, but they are still kind of worried. Four rounds is clearly not enough. So can fours turn that clean victory into a run of rounds? 
themselves is the question. Yeah, definitely, you know, there's still that world in which Four's guaranteeing, you know, double digits at the turn of the half. They start to run away with things, and actually it was just a little bit of a hiccup of a few rounds here or there. That's a very important one to take as well. Money was starting to look very low over all that seat to side, and kind of still is. I mean, it's not exactly a swing round right here, but it's pretty close to being one. Money over to the seat side limited. Four's not exactly healthy. This is a very important one to take. Winner of this can start to set themselves in stone for at least a few rounds to work with. Jerry will find Zontix to start off. Chalfi through the smoke, able to find the frag. Resalt on high. Looking easy for them right now. An absolute mow down. They try and go fast towards A, and uh, Fours seem to be doing very well against those sort of faster rounds. Their CT setup is pretty solid. Already. How into a very uncomfortable position for Softic. Simple question of what does he do here? A lot of damage has been dealt. Almost like Shelfie, Jerry. I might get a gap to work with. Zort has trained over towards Ramp and he just won't look for this at all. So that's a free kill for him. He's going to look for more information. No, Ops just take the shot. And we'll fall away, but now what? Yeah, now what is the big question, of course. Doesn't have the bomb. So it's not like he can keep the guessing game coming. He might be able to do some decent damage here. The orb trained on the angle. That is a hell of a shot coming in. He takes down Jerry as well. Uh-oh. Only left on 16 HP. Is it enough to work with 20 seconds to retrieve the bomb, get the plant going? Resalt going to hear him. Knows that he's nearby, but still not moving out of the vent. Just playing the passive game. Steps will start to come in, and now... That begins to confirm where he's going. Should be able to get the drop on him here. Smoke goes down. Plant in the smoke. Resalt playing it safe. And this could be dangerous, but he still gets the drop on Sotfik. I thought there was maybe a moment where Sotfik had come away with an opportunity to find a one-tap, but not going to happen. And the 3k from the big man Resalt is enough to get number eight for fours. Yeah, I respect him playing it safe there as well, right? Spamming the smoke is always just such a risk where he knows the low HP already requires is one bullet. He can just take the risk and kind of rotate his way to the round site and lock in the round rather than, you know, 90% lock in the round. Make sure it's uh, a shoe in And it was. Double the round difference as well. Coming through over towards out of four, eight to four. As we mentioned, winning that round is very important. It will limit things over towards that Spirit Academy into round number 13. They're by somewhat on the shy side. Donk of an AK. A few deagles to work with. Art Frost and a scout. That's essentially all they've got to rock with. Nice AK coming round from Donk as he finds the frag onto Shalfi. Putting the fear of God into... Uh... The boys right here. Baz has got a bit of armor and takes that AK off of the low HP donk. So still a kind of scary setup coming through from Spirit Academy. Definitely could find ooh, some more frags. Jerry hunting in with the auto shotgun. Ducks under the bullets and comes away alive. Jerry loves, uh, he loves the old auto shotty. Oh, it's a little bit quiet as well, right? But now we're in a bit of a, an airy space. Four versus four. Still a world. Wish they can make their work. I think that smoke was meant to bounce over towards yes. single door, and it didn't. Not exactly like it's going to be problematic. They're still kind of funneling over towards that Azorta, but we'll see. What is the plan of action? This is a predicament, to say the least. What a shot from Donk. He's so fast. This guy really is one to watch. Oh, Jerry, not watching the angle, does get a bit of an inkling. Maybe heard a footstep. Three on three, bomb going downstairs. There's no one really to meet it at this point in time, but as they hear the steps coming in, they will know what's up. Bomb plant is going to happen here for Spirit. What can they get done off the back of it, though? Single door opens, and Crad will take down Baz. And another one as well. Art Frost has recovered an orb, which is a bit scary. Molotov and a flash comes around. He's certainly out in an awkward spot here. And they will be able to get rid of him. for survive for now, but that was certainly a closer one. Yeah, they get a little bit shaky. The big thing is as well, the Twitter Academy, making sure that they at least keep them, I mean, in kind of that, that reaching distance, right? Make these rounds uncomfortable. Make them a little bit unsure. 
which means that when they go on towards the CT side, they know they'll have bits of confidence to kind of lean back on. We'll see. Uh, pretty decent little five-round lead built up now. It's actually uh, quite the position to be in. Fours. At the moment, are looking shaky. Spirit Academy putting four rounds on the trot does make you uh, think that potentially they got something to work with. Now, actually, we are getting into the realms with this is half starting to run away with them a little bit. If they don't get the next two for Spirit Academy, I do get a little bit concerned. Great utility coming in here from Spirit. Really going to make life awkward for fours. And down goes Resol because of it. There's another one on high, though, in the form of Jerry. He goes absolutely wild in towards Hut. Not going to be able to get anything that's absolutely massive damage done. They're bailing towards ramp, though. Zorte, with a good read here, could do the damage. The oh, jump comes in. Still lands the flick. Looking for a bit more. Can't get it. And that should do the round. That should be Spirit coming away with things. It was a fake out towards A. They well sold it. And fours, their units, just not able to hold the line. Let's see. Let's go on the, uh, the side of quiet right now. Nothing really being made in terms of Shelfie. He's got to do it all alone. And they're rotating into him. He'll find the first. He'll find the bomb as well. Hang on a second. You're going to tuck his head. I don't know if he'd be expected. Shelfie going to find another. No way. Spirit Academy, this was a one round. It was a one versus three. Very problematic. I mean, if there's anyone that you want in this clutch situation now, it is Donk, but Shalfi has completely bailed. Complete positional change-up is really going to be difficult to know where he's at now. He's actually gone all the way down. Donk oh, picks up the bomb and will indeed bail towards B. Shalfi with the read. And now just biding his time, waiting for this opportunity to come his way. Donk has somewhat of an idea that he could be down here. Shalfi, though, not giving the game away. Fate comes in, not going to act upon it. Shalfi is playing this perfectly right now. Donk up close on the door. Oh, and Donk manages to win it. Shalfi played everything so well, except the execution of the frag in the end. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I wasn't sure if he was going to start playing kind of door mechanics against them after the scene, you know, times where it actually works quite well. Unfortunately for him, not the case. Shalfi, what an attempt though. That was looking like a locked-in round for Spirit Academy, and it went up in the air in a matter of moments. Of course, we'll see them up to their fifth, and it won't mean the money in the buy over towards fours into the 15th and final is somewhat shaky. Just a 5-7 result. Double MP9, Famas, and M4A1S. They're towards our side. They're going aggro, and they're going to get punished for it. Lovely stuff. Shelby is up close with the Famas. Oh. <laughs> Donk demolishes him, though. This guy is really living up to the namesake. Looks absolutely incredible so far. Five on two. Immediately straight out of the gate. Not really going to happen here for fours, you would imagine. Maybe a kill here or there, but that really doesn't matter at this final round of the half, of course. No kills coming in. Nine six at the turn of the half. A good recovery from Spirit as it was looking very dominant from fours indeed. Is that going to be enough to work with? Time will tell. Find out soon. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com.
don't speak for a couple of weeks I'll be in his place till he calls and says he's sorry This situation's on repeat Just like a scratch on a CD It just gets deeper when you hit rewind How many nights will you make this decision? Nights and in tears and he's blurring Welcome back. We are here for half number two. Fours coming away with nine rounds. A decent scoreline. If they could pick up the pistol here, it would be a hell of a scoreline that they find themselves. We're at Spirit Academy now. We've got to see what they're made of on the CT side of their favourite map. I've got to say, I, I think a 9-6 is pretty fair both ways. I think both are actually pretty happy with it. You can make it work at the very least. Spirit Academy need a strong start. We know, of course, Zorta on the pistol started off very well. And Donks under a lot of pressure. Back towards our side, I mean, Tessa tapping away as well. Crad baiting in his attention, but two have dropped in towards that main. Buzz will find the first. They've got space to work over towards the site, and the bomb will go down. Yeah, this is kind of a, a rare setup from Spirit Academy, giving a lot of control across. They're all going to come flying through from heaven against the Glocks. It can be dangerous, though. They will come away with the advantage, leaving Crad up against three, and he can't find any. Pistol goes the way of Spirit, exactly what they were looking for. Now, of course, this game is most definitely on. Got a strong start coming through. Already. A position where they can get close towards tying this game up. I think they can get towards eight pretty much uncontested. Fours, they got a bomb plant, which will give them opportunity to buy. And Jerry loves a force buy, so I'm assuming it'll come through. This goes south. Spirit find aids. There's no response coming through. The game gets tied up before fours can even rebuy in once again. And that's where things get, for me, very interesting. This is a kind of a, it feels like a must convert. Force by the force to keep this, you know, confidence and control of the game. If they lose it, then it becomes a completely level playing field. We'll see. It is a double Galil, one AK, one Scout, and crowd in towards a D. Trying to alleviate the pressure of this one. Pretty scary force by as far as they go. So, yeah. Spirit Academy have got to be on their toes with this one. No real presence towards outside. They do have Donk holding it down with the M4. In that kind of unbreakable area. Not really spotting anything just yet. Fours are biding their time with this one. Don't have a lot of utility to work with. We get the outside smokes nice and late. Crad. Lining them up. Make sure he can throw them from the same spot. Not quite the cleanest. Does get away from him. Need the uh, device smoke drop, you know. That extra tech. Either way, they will get outside. They will... Start to creep in here, and Donk ooh, might be the first port call. Flash comes around, just try and keep them at bay. There's an Org as well at range. There's a deadly weapon. Great angle for it as well. It looks like Jerry might go walking into this one in a matter of moments, but we'll see the rest of the team going down secret. Oh, very quiet right now. Let's see. AEG posting the angle. Can hold and wait, and on rotating over, will be caught. Looks like for now, at the very least, that bottom site is going to be the port of call, and that is exactly it. Sontix, him and Artfrost have to combine for some magic to deny this bomb going down. Rough one for Artfrost. Maybe should have found that frag. It looked like he definitely had the drop. Jerry with the lurk up top manages to find the Ooh. kill. Zorte with a big trade on the scout. Baz, M4 from behind. Can't get the drop, but he sets up Sotvik for one, and Baz now... Left alone, has to go absolutely massive. Not going to happen. Crad takes his head clean off and fours win the four spike. My God. So, we said it was a must convert. They've done it. And now the owners goes back over towards Spirit Academy to try and flip the script. Three rounds behind. It's a big buy that they've now lost. This one getting very spicy. It was a pretty poor hold. It has to be said. Art Frost has got to go for one with that AUG up close. Over towards window. I think he's also better off, personally. The unscoped. The spray of the AUG is much better unscoped. He gets punished for it. Three rounds of difference. Just a couple of pistols for him to work with as well. Not all too much. Hoping to have money later down the line. Art Frost not even investing in. Even though it's all going to buy coming back through for Spirit. 
He's uh, keeping his cash in hand so he can later down the line have that AWP as early as possible. Worst possible position to be in, though, this one, man. Like, it just puts so much pressure on the buy, and we'll we'll see when it comes in. The buy is never really all that good when you get reset like this, so... Pretty deadly. Nice find from Donk. Zorte just caught completely out in the open. A little bit sleep in there. Jerry. Ooh, the support's coming in now as well. This gets a little scary. Crad takes down Donk. The USP of Art Frost, good for one. Can he get any more resalt just creeping in? Really making sure that he finds this frag art frost, making it hard for him for sure, but will eventually go down. Not before dishing out a dink, though. So again, oh, the pistols have a chance. 5-7 at range and 5-7 up close. Oh, they're not going to check him. Crad will get the trade in, but it's a one versus one and a very winnable situation for Sotfit coming in from main as well. Could be able to deny this bomb plant as unfortunately Crad had the wrong read and they managed to get the force buy back in their own favor. This is now heating up. Uh-oh, that's the round you can't be losing. You cannot be losing that sort of buy. It's all well and good if it's kind of a, a force buy coming through with half rifles like Galil's or Famas's. Yeah, I can understand that, but you can't be losing to a few five sevens and a couple of eagles. That just shouldn't be happening. Fours, they are going to be kicking themselves in that one slip. Now, once again, this game gets very spicy. Art Frost, as early as possible in towards the AWP. He's really struggled to have form today in towards Nuke. I'm waiting to see when he comes on the line. Hopefully as early as possible. If he gets that orb to sing, and who knows? The fire it towards Fords as well. Pretty janky. Double Glil, an AK, and a few pistols. This is such a weird and wonderful time and to start off the second half of Nuke, which is forced by Central. It's on tick. So close. We'll get bested. Thank goodness dog, uh, Donk sorry, found a frag. Otherwise, they would be down and out in this one. Quick, aggressive move coming in. Does get traded quickly. Versus three then, as uh, the bomb is going to go down here. Nice open plant to work with. Single door still open. Crad looking for an opportunity to find his 18th frag here. And doesn't quite present itself. The MP9 gets the better of Shalfi. They're all coming in from single door. The orb going to win the fight. No, it doesn't. Double spray down for the blind Crad. And Sortie's got him covered. Massive moment coming through for fours. And the return round comes back through. What is happening? This game is just not how it's meant to be. You can't be winning on these lesser buys so consistently. And you'd assume Spirit Academy going to answer right back, because why not? What a weird and wonderful start we've had to the second half of Nuke. As expected, it's a force buy coming back out by Spirit Academy. Into the upgraded pistols. Art Frost on a scout. And Fours just getting closer and closer to the finish line. Things continue on the same trajectory. Spirit Academy. This game going to get to a point of being too little, too late. Yeah, they can't keep this up. Especially on the CT side. You've got to find that consistency. The T's are going to be totally happy for it. Cash is, you know, uh, not so much of a problem as we've seen with how strong their four spies have actually been. And then, of course, the scoreline is one thing to speak of as well. Donk. Ooh, I thought he was spotted there. Maybe a bit of miscom coming in. Crad gets caught. They'll take any kills they can get on the Spirit Academy side right now. Sotfik looking for a timing peek here, and he's just playing the off angle uh, nice and aggressive, hoping that Shalfi goes peeking into him, but Shalfi is too fast. And now a man advantage for Fours comes in, a free bomb site as well. Already. Now into a little bit of a spicy position where the bomb will go down, but how much do Spirit Academy actually want to test this? The answer might be pretty minimally. The bomb going down and no clear pathway towards the site. Now they might just call it and say, yeah, we'll give it up. We'll see what's what and just kind of re-go in towards the next round. It's going to be a pretty brutal buy for them in towards the next. And this is where fours can start to cement themselves into taking nuke. One spot towards our side. No, I was about to say more money for the MAC-10, but no, not to be. Might as well see him off and actually stay alive. So a Mac 10 and a scout saved over alongside the Deagle isn't the worst sort of round at the same time as well. The Mac 10 falling, not going to care all too much as well. Just an SMG and a cheap one at that. 12 to 8. And a fairly decent amount of breathing room now for fours. Yeah. We finally won the kind of force by wars, the weird and wacky times that were happening. And now they can sort of take a breather and think, okay, the buy we know is going to be somewhat on the minimal side. It's just I want AK to work with. 
There isn't going to be all that much that we actually have to worry about in the kind of the grandiose scope. Play our game, we should be fine. Yeah, they're in a really good spot now. That consistency was uh, obviously the, the winner of the Force by Wars. The winner comes away with the biggest prize. Double nades landing on towards Sotfit. Going to open up nice and clean for fours. Great little uh, cheesy move that they've got in the back pocket there. Able to pull it out at the opportune moment. And will get the better of that Spirit Academy side. So starting off very well. Should be able to capitalize upon that. Turn it into something a bit more. I do like the lobby push coming Ooh. in here. Zontic's going to find the head of Shalfi pretty cleanly. Oh, and he gets another one as well with the flick down onto Resalt. Jerry went pushing in. There was maybe again, you know, a miss on coming through. And well, a crazy move from Zontix to get himself a 3k. Baz has recovered. An AK here catches off another. It's all over the place. And that chaos is what Spirit Academy were trying to work with here. Jerry, oh, Ooh. loses his head. These rounds are mental and they keep on swinging back. What a weird one to take again. What is I'd this take a time out here. I think you need to, you know, flatten this off, I agree. to be honest with you. It's just getting out of hand. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. You can't keep letting the, this kind of chaos happen because I think for the youngsters of Spirit Academy, they're more than happy to really kind of take it to them, you know, play this kind of puggy style, get in your face sort of counter-strike. And allowing them to do that is always going to be a, a bit of a problem in my eyes. They need to be careful. Make sure they don't let things kind of slip away. It's a pretty healthy lead, but it can very quickly be turned on its head. So, without further ado, we see exactly that. A little bit of a breather, have a conversation. What have we seen so far? And what are the instances that have been shown to us that give us at least some, a sort of an inkling about how Spirit Academy is setting themselves up? It's been weird. It's been uh, some uncomfortable Counter-Strike here in the second half. And it kind of still is anyone's game. Madness, absolute madness. Looking forward to it to continue develop, though, and see whether Fours can uh, answer back once again. We thought that once they'd found that oh, return round, they'd be in for it. That upshot is so damn close. I don't even know how it misses, to be honest. Jerry playing aggressive outside. Smoke coming in. Going to give him some room to work with. He's looking to get cheeky through these smokes as well. Just waiting for the rest of the boys to get into position. Donk's got a read on this. And the kill's coming in for that CT side. Donk looking to support his boy. And he will find the double spray down to seal the deal. A great round from Donk and a fantastic read on what it looked like. Yeah, already. Interesting times. It's a great round coming through for Spirit Academy. What a one to take as well. Immediately right back in their face. Off the back of the pause. Quick counter strike. Donk is 25 and 14 right now. This kid is un stoppable he's on fire it's a very clear-cut reason as to why the rumors about him being called up to the main team are being made this guy is he's a he's different gravy he's absolutely unbelievable when he gets going my god he's talented he is destroying right now a major worthy team a major team they will be in paris and donk individually right now is absolutely farming them Amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. Quick rush coming in from the Fours side. Try and get it done with the pistols. See if they can find any damage. They do pick up one. Ooh, and another one, to be fair. But they're not really going to get too much out of it as you would expect. Up to 11 now for Spirit Academy keeping this one close. Well, already. Now what? Now what? what is the question over towards uh, out of fours? We've had quite a few of them, to be perfectly honest. Because they've sort of felt like this game has been slipping away from them bit by bit. Bullby comes out and it's a must convert. If they don't, Spirit Academy not only tie the game up, they break their economy, they guarantee a lead going forward and get closer and closer to taking new from what looked like it was going to be theirs to lose. That in itself would be an absolutely ginormous story. Shalfi down the vent. It's not being spotted. And Sotvik might have thought that he could spot a player moving down. Donk is uh, somewhat aware and will find the head. We weren't really in position to trade Shalfi just yet. Nade comes in. Big damage onto Jerry. 
Donk going hunting here. If he can even come away with just one, that would be absolutely massive. He's in fact going to get himself multiple frags. So well held, and this guy continues to impress. He's just so talented. So talented. Not for us to see off one of his own as well. So, all in all, very good Counter-Strike being played right now. Donk's hit the 30 bomb already. I don't think that's a surprise to absolutely anybody. Anybody who knows this kid and how good he can be. Not even remotely surprising. We're all tied square as well. This now gets very interesting. Fours are in trouble. This game looked like it was theirs to lose. And right now, they look like they are going to lose it. And what looked like it was... Uh, what was a four-on lead at one point? It was 12-8. Yeah. And they've just lost control of it. On, on the half by as well. So, you know, this really is surprising. They're going to go in with a fast one of their own. Not looking too good. All the frags coming through. Zorte decent on the deagle. But uh, he's the only one to have found anything. And, of course, he's now left alone against the world. Flank coming round. Spotted out. Picked up easily. And that'll be the lead for Spirit Academy. Here we go. Getting interesting. Can Fours find anything in the locker? It's the big question. We're looking for some answers, right? And I think for Fours, they seem to have really lost a significant amount of control of this game. It's really not where you want to be at all, right? There was a, such a strong kind of onus being set by them. And that tempo has completely shifted. They look nervous. They're looking shaky. It's not what you'd expect or hope out of this level of a team. Let's see. Can they change things up? And oh, I'll take the fight right back to Spirit. Is anyone's game still? It's not exactly done and dusted just yet. Not quite yet. Slow encroachment forwards from the AWP. There's actually two of them moving towards lobby there. It's mainly going to be an outside hit from fours, so... No one really around. Art Frost misses a shot and takes a lot of damage, however. So that's not a bad start for fours, all things considered. Let's go now. On the, uh, the side of Quiet. Around the smoke. Spamming through as well. Softic. He will get the kill on towards Jerry. Hey, Jerry done nothing wrong there, apart from trying to cross... Dung still posting towards Garage. Zort is holding from waiting. The question is, do they commit to the clear? He turns away. And Dong crosses lines. Labored spray. It's saying he can be sent towards Zontigs. It's falling apart. It's just kills all over the place right now. They will return back on that Spirit Academy side of things. It was looking good for Fours for just a second, but quite literally just a second. Zort vaguely gives his position away. He's got hardly any HP to work with. I'd maybe give him a, a chance, a shot in the dark if he had more. Hiding inside the smoke for now, biding that time, winding the clock down. Baz incredibly ready for him, though. And that is now number 14. Looking good here for Spirit. They have found their mojo here on the CT end of things. These youngsters, man, they can be such an issue. And we're seeing how, well, how and what they can do. This is some cracking Counter-Strike. So close to the finish line as well, right? Two rounds ahead of fours, two rounds away, taking their map pick. And actually, what is a bit of a statement, too. We know as well that this is a... Uh, it's very good to be tired. were pretty damn good over towards Inferno. There's definitely risks starting to uh, mount up. Not exactly alarm bells just yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. You need to be careful not to let this one slip. It could be very problematic before they even know it. So... Time I've done. An opportunity for Jerry to have a conversation here. How does he make this one? Uh, well, how does he make it work, right? How does he uh, help the situation out? There's now or never. It's a Hail Mary buy coming through, right? They're throwing everything to the table here. Triple Galil setup coming through. A double AK and a very limited amount of utility. It's now or never before do or die. This one slips. Spirit Academy on 550, and they shatter the funds over towards the T side and more or less lock in. And they're going to be taking this map 16 12. Yeah, no utility left now for the fourth side of things. So, really going to be difficult to find a way into a bomb site. They are hoping to burst out a ramp, give that a good go. Zontix, though, has got the line held. And they call off the idea. They don't really know where to go there. I think just looking for someone to overstep, looking for an opportunity to present itself, but Spirit Academy 
Not moving, not wasting. Ooh, there are opportunities. There it is, though. Zontic's going to get the first bullet in the cranium. Baz will trade one back, keep things even. It's always good on Nuke. The one-for-ones are a little less dangerous on a map like this, with the bomb sites being so hemmed in. What's happened here? Had two players walk past each other outside, and that might just give Jerry ooh, a big drop. He misses out on the opportunity to find the frag. Maybe it'll come back his way, but it doesn't look like it will. At the same time, he's made it towards heaven, and they have absolutely no idea. Easy on to the first. Can't find the second. Sotfik nearly for a double, not quite. Three versus two then, as fours look set to hold on. Fine margins. Down to... Two of the biggest stars, the usual bright big names over towards this side. Let's see, swinging through. Orp will fall, and I think that might be all she wrote, actually. It looked like potentially there's going to be something of this. All the four south, it's all down to one man. Dong's had a cracker of a game, but this just asked a little bit too much. Still got time. Uh, if he'd found Resol on a crazy flick, then uh, uh, perhaps would have given it to him, but of course he didn't. So, fours. Staying alive, the all-important round, as you said, it probably would have been a 16-12 if they lost that one out. Well, they will make sure to keep this one uh, in the realms of possibility. Still going to be a buyback from Spirit Academy. We'll see how they look here and whether Fours have found something on the T side or whether they've just gotten lucky. 14-13, to 13, this game continues to deliver. But right now... We wait, we see. Crossing down. Actually, Shelfie, I think he, yeah, he tries to go down Ven. He missed the first time. He will get down the second. They've gone towards our side. Look at the space. Fours are crazy already. They've got so much room to work with. And now Spirit Academy have to double back over towards B. It's a risky call, but they have to make it. They know they've lost a lot of control. A lot of footsteps heard. Maybe starts to confirm the fact that it is going to be a B hit. So they'll start to get the rotations in. Fours are going to have to deal with a pretty hefty defense over here. This is very, very scary looking, to be honest. As soon as that door opens as well, Art Frost is trained on the angle. Oof. Take a shot. Go on. Do it. Yeah. Pull do the trigger. It. Just spidey senses tingling, but I don't think you've got the inkling. I did say, though, door opens, and that will be that double spray down for Zontix as well. They were so ready for the B hit. Heard them running all around. And they will land 15. Two in a row going to be required from fours. And it comes off the back of a poor buy as well. So easy. Heart Frost. He's not been called upon all that much in towards this game. He's had a very quiet one to his usual standards. That's an important kill to open things up. Finding Zorta, who again has been pretty miraculous at times. Limiting fours to a very uncomfortable position. Pause to come through. They're playing for OT to stay alive in Nuke. That in itself is asking a hell of a lot. Two rounds of difference, but Spirit Academy just one step away. They have a lot to work with. Unfortunately for fours, it's just not the same over towards them. There's just no money. Cradders, sub 3k. To try and muster up a buy. It might just be a Mac 10 for him. Or even an upgraded pistol if he wants to buy a little bit more of that utility. It's going to be a very shaky buy is what we know for fours. So their chances of taking this map are extremely limited. Yeah, not looking good at all. Not looking good at all as we get back into the action now. We'll see whether Fours can survive it or if Spirit Academy have got things on the docket. Time going to tell on this one, but Spirit Academy with a hell of a bounce back into that first half. Fours will be kicking themselves. They couldn't get a more dominant CT side going. Outside Execute coming in from Fours here to try and get some space. So, Jerry towards our side. One of the two AKs. Four fours to work with. It's very quiet right now. Nothing being given up all too much. Waiting for an opportunity. You can kind of see both sides a little bit tentative, a little bit nervous. Especially that of fours, right? They don't want to overextend and lose that man advantage. They know how important it is. So, right now, nothing. Art Frost, it would be trained. Easiest kill for him. Shalfi walks straight into danger. Full going to dry is the big one for me. Dong needs to be careful. He's in trouble. Jumping on the corner, trying to stay alive. Art Frost find yet another. It's falling apart, Scroove. Yep, it looks like it might just be over. Jerry does manage to get one, but it cost him his life. All down to Resol. Up against three. He has 
a slight bit of control in the fact that they don't really know where he's at and of course has the bomb so can dictate where the battles go down i suppose but not really uh expecting him to find this one ultimately it looks like things are going to be over in just a few moments unless he can pull off the clutch of the game does have the kills to back it 23 and 19 right now they're very ready for him on this b-bomb site though as they will hear him coming in oh and zontic's hidden away we'll find the easy frag get the victory and take that unbeaten streak all the way to town there against fours a pretty great map coming in from spirit academy yeah, really solid stuff, especially considering as well that at times things were looking a little bit uncomfortable with Spirit Academy. It wasn't the greatest start for them coming in towards that map.